the um, the aim behind the report. Thank you, Jude. Thanks very much. Um, I'd also like to uh, welcome the draft opinion, which I think aims in the right direction. Um, and I think there, it speaks about um, a number of the elements which are um, actually the responsibility of the intercommittee. And I think we should be clear that sustainable development and the promotion of labour rights and environmental protection in um, our trade policy is very much part of our agenda. But where there are um, two elements in the, um, in the draft opinion, um, I think we should strengthen some of our language and, and improve it, particularly around trade and sustainable development and around corporate social responsibility, where I think uh, the opinion is um, surprisingly a bit weak, in fact. Um, so I, I think in a number of EP resolutions, we've already made the point a number of times that the EU's current model for trade and sustainable development and CSR is insufficient. Um, and we've also made the criticism in the past that sustainability impact assessments aren't undertaken in a timely fashion, um, and nor do they adequately address the impact of our trade relations on developing countries. And I think that's something that we should be bringing back to the fore inside this uh, position. On CSR, I was very struck by the discussion yesterday with the Deputy Director General of the ILO when she was talking about the work being done within the OECD and the UN around supply chains and about responsibility along um, supply chains. And I think that has a particular role when we're talking about policy coherence um, with developing countries because ensuring labour and environmental standards down supply, the value chain or the supply chain is absolutely crucial if we want to turn a trade relationship from a, uh, a slightly colonial approach to a more balanced approach allowing countries to develop industrial policies, allowing countries to develop their economies um, and uh, their specialisation. So I think including binding standards and binding commitments in all sectors is crucial and that builds on the work that we've already done on conflict minerals calling for binding um, due diligence in conflict minerals and finally I think the point and uh, Pedro made it the point about trade and sustainable development chapters is since the global Europe initiative um, from Peter Mandelson in 2006 we've seen a downgrading of trade and sustainable development chapters with each agreement which has been concluded. Uh, the latest agreements with um, which we haven't yet debated in detail but with West Africa and Southern Africa and East Africa being uh, particular cases and I think we should be making that point. We can't have policy coherence unless we have a coherent approach in how we deal with trade um, and sustainable development and binding commitments on the one hand are crucial together with enforceability on the other hand and I think that point was made very clearly yesterday by the ILO uh, Deputy, General, uh, Deputy Director General and so I think we should take that up into our opinion um, as well. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Helmut Scholz.